Hey guys, this is WrestleMania 28's results for 2012, April 1st. Uh, what happened was this was 10 times better than last year's WrestleMania, without a doubt. Uh, first match right away was she uh, Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, soon as soon as Daniel Bryan got in the ring, they had the crowd had like 14 just signs that say yes. I don't know why Daniel Bryan's so obsessed with just going yes all the time, saying yes, but uh, as annoying as that him as a character uh he pretty much had it coming but i really wish the match was a little bit longer than just 18 seconds that was kind of a letdown but it still was pretty funny but uh to me it was kind of a bad move because if that really decreases the worth of the championship title if you're going to have the first match right away for the world heavyweight now they're treating it like it's the cruiserweight championship and you know they need to put it back up on where it needs to be um, second match right away was, uh, Randy Orton versus King. Uh, you know, Kane came out right away. We're all, you know, he's wearing that welder's mask. Uh, doesn't really match his attire, but whatever. It's still pretty cool. Uh, they're battling. I, I was really expecting Orton to win. Uh, I had no idea that they are just going to have Kane win. I was happy that Kane won. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, you know, it could, it could have been a little bit longer, but still when Kane went up to the second, or the yeah, second rope. He did the choke slam. That I wasn't expecting. Well, I called it, but I wasn't thinking they were gonna follow through with it. But they did. So Kane won, and that was really sweet. Um, next match was the, I believe it was the Divas match, and they had. Well, no one. Divas matches lately are nothing but bathroom breaks for everyone else. Like seriously, they're not really amped up, but. I don't know. What else they got? Um, I know they had the Divas, yeah, the Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix. That was, yeah, just a, I would say a flop, but, you know, there's no really built up or whatever. You're having a tag team match and they're not even defending Divas Championship. And Phoenix came out with, like, this eagle tribal looking weird peacock thing on her face. And it was just really distracting. Like, what the hell are you wearing? But, uh... And we had, and I don't remember what order these were in, but I'll just get up to it. Then we had uh, Cody Rhodes and Big Show. Um, I was really rooting for Big Show, like, forever. I was really expecting him to win the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. But, you know, that kind of went south with that. They just, you know, built this small storyline between Cody Rhodes and Big Show. Uh, but still, uh, I was really happy that Big Show won. He, he needs to be, you know, not just a mid-card wrestler anymore. He needs to be up there, so... Hopefully they give the title some value. Uh, you know, it was, it was pretty cool seeing all that. Um, let's see what else. Since uh, the SmackDown versus Raw for the general manager, I knew Laurinaitis was going to win, Laryngitis. Uh, but it, it was actually a pretty sweet match. Uh, worthwhile. <clears throat> uh, the whole screw job with that broski dude or whatever the hell his name is, I don't even care. Uh, I expected that to happen. Um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a big upset, but you know, Raw tonight will probably be really sweet. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'll save the last two for the last, but um, I'll skip Undertaker's match. I'll go right to CM Punk and Chris Jericho. Uh, that when since Raw won the general manager title thing La uh, laryngitis came up to CM Punk and he said you know if you get disqualified or anything like that or whatever you'll lose the belt so Punk and Jericho actually had a fair match I was really I was really not surprised but you know I was I was happy with the fact that they actually just had a fair game uh, CM Punk was gonna hit him with the chair but you know he just put it down and just kicked his ass and uh, it was pretty good. Uh, Jericho tapped finally after like four reversals of everything, and it was pretty sweet. Uh, Undertaker and Triple H, that was the shit. Uh, everyone went nuts for it. It was, I think it was better than actually Rock and Cena, just in my opinion, but uh, seeing Undertaker come out looking like Super Shredder on steroids mixed with black metal, that was just awesome. Uh, he had, like, spikes, like, out to here or whatever, and all just gauntlets. He was, like, wearing dragon armor. It was pretty sweet. 
Uh, comes out, he's whipping Triple H the first half of the match. He's just destroying him. The Triple H makes a small comeback, and they rip out the steel steps or whatever. They put it in the ring, and of course, you know, Triple H is going to, like, do the pedigree on the stairs of the pile driver or whatever. And he, Taker just flips him up. Uh, then later on, Triple H gives uh, Taker a spine buster right into the steps, and just he has a welt, like, that huge, like, it was black and red and purple and all kinds of colors. That was the match, and Undertaker won, and I'm really happy that they didn't let him lose. Like, that was, and Shawn Michaels did a good part, too. He was, like, it was, it was good. Uh, Rock and John Cena, uh, the first, well, before Rock and John Cena, they had the Funkasaurus dude come out, and that was just stupid. Like, he's doing the whole, like, fucking uh, thing, and then they had, like, a bunch of, like, women come out dressed up as old grandma ladies and it was stupid I'm like what the hell are we watching it was like another good time for a bathroom break but then uh uh they had Flo Rida perform and then some white guy I forget his name not important but he came out uh John Cena came out crowd was booing his ass like expected and then Rock came out everyone cheering the Rock paid attention to both sides of the arena and everything uh long story short Cena was going for the the people the Cena's elbow. I'll call it C Nation elbow, whatever. Didn't work out. Five knuckle shuffle, whatever he was gonna do. Uh, Rock got up last second. Rock bottom him. I was happy, rubbing it in my sister's face. She punched me because I was a little bit overjoyed because she was so saying that Cena's gonna win. They're not gonna let Rock win. Blah blah blah. So good match, good day. We had big ass bag of popcorn, everything. So. That is all what happened in WrestleMania 28, all the good parts. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and blah, 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 whatever. See ya.